Hey everyone and welcome back to VFXY once again. So in today's video we are going to see how we can retain detail by using a very useful node inside Nuke. Normally what happens whenever we are doing keying, many of you ask me how to retain hair detail or any detail which is like motion blur or hair or anything something like that. So yes in today's video we are going to see how we can retain or how we can add more detail or extra detail while doing key. So be with us and without any delay, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see over here, I have a key or final footage where you can see very, very precisely I have retained each and every detail of hair or especially out of focus uh, elements although I need to work over here separately also I need to work on this area because yes I have to do edge blending and all but more or less I am targeting his hair right so as you can see over here I have very minute fine details right so let's break down my comp and if you will comment or if you need, I will do a video regarding all this technique in very detail, right? So let me break down this pretty simple. I have footage, I reduce the noise and same way I have created my clean plate and with the help of IBK Gizmo, I have created my soft mat, right? Whenever we are doing soft matting, obviously we will have these kind of holes. So to fill that, I have core mat. Already I have discussed this thing very detailed. So I have my core mat and in core mat, I have added few masks, something like that. If I want, probably I can add one more keying tool and I can fix this problem. But I thought to add Roto, it's again, it's a personal choice, right? And I merged my both the alphas, core mat and my edge mat as well right or soft mat you can say now this setup is my de-spilling setup how i did that pretty simple i have used key light you can use any de-spilling tool like de-spill madness pfx kill spill you can use whatever you want so this is my core de-spill where i added my core de-spilling right and this is my edge de-spilling with the same way i added minus because i want to retain my luminance value and i hover my luminance value and this section is combining core de-spill in edge de-spill right so i combined both of them on the basis of my core mat alpha right so if you want i can create detailed video for that you need to comment in comment box right so after that i have done my alpha copying over here and i have added pre-mold and i have these pretty simple but the core crux is over here yes i am going to use additive gear for retaining detail many of you commented many times that please make a video on additive gear so i thought why not to do that right so it's pretty simple tool you, what you have to do you have to hit tab and probably you can type additive gear for this additive gear you can go to nukepedia and you can download it there are multiple additive gears are available on nukepedia but i will recommend you to use additive gear pro right so also you can install or you can use nuke survival toolkit if you want i can make a detailed video how to install it but already video is out there you can go and you can check it just you have to type nuke survival toolkit right once you are going to install it you will have all the tools i have all the tools over here right so you can use additive gear pro as well right so how it works it's having pretty straightforward inputs like bg fg clean plate and mask right so let me show it to you how you have to connect right so this is my background this is my background this is my main plate or this is my clean plate so what you have to do you have to connect bg with bz and foreground to your main plate foreground to your main plate and clean plate to your clean plate and if required you can use your mask input as well for this case or for this example i don't need to use it and once you are going to do that all the calculation will happen 
and automatically you will have this kind of information right so what you have to do let me disable it so this is your bz and bz is going over here and what you have to do where you have to use just connect this additive key here after background input and once you are going to see through it this will be this and probably you will have this information now you can ask where is detail so let me show it to you if i am going to disable my additive gear can you see that the amount of detail i am getting can you see that with additive gear without additive gear right so can you see that right so you can go and you can check this out additive gear tool and my most favorite part is you can control this right you can control this in a two way right suppose that your highlight will be in separate channel and your shadow will be in separate channel and we have control to both the channels or both the parts as well suppose that if you want to add or control your dark area so we have dark values i can control it can you see that i can control it also i can desaturate or saturate my dark areas something like that if you want to give tint suppose that your background is of something like yellowish or probably let me do that i'm going over here let's let's do that probably some orange kind of stuff or yellow kind of stuff right something like that so what will happen some sort of tint you want over here as well if you want again i'm saying it's not mandatory so what you can do you can go over here you can click this and probably you can try to achieve that or probably in picker node i'm going to pick it and if you can see over here i am having my spill over here but you don't want this much tint so what you can do yes you can use this value as well or you can go over here and you can lower down the tint something like that so what will happen some sort of background spill will come over here only in the dark areas right if you want to tweak your highlighted area so we have highlighted zone over here can you see that i can control c you can see over here can you see that so if you want to control your highlighted part something like that you can do it you can add saturation again light value saturation as per your background is uh, varying you can add tint if you want and light value bz multiply because what happens highlight is going to multiply with background as well in additive gear pro and yes the result is over here so this will be a great start or this will be a great tool to achieve or retain hair detail motion blur detail and any kind of semi transparent objects or elements are there or pixels are there you can retain that detail pretty nicely right so yes as i mentioned if you want i can break down my keying process and i will show you from scratch for that what you have to do you have to do comment in the comment box right so i hope this video will help you to know a new node and if you want this com file along with your chroma file what you have to do just go to www.vfxvibe.com and you will find assets over there on a very minimal price so i hope this video will help you to know a new node and this video will help you to retain your detail while doing king in a better way if you think that this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is vfxy signing off have a good day